Hey, welcome back everybody. We love this week our ultimate Thanksgiving dinner contest, but we're taking a break from the main course right now to talk about some fun, different, unusual holiday drinks. And Joe is here from Forgotten Fire Winery up in Pesh to go. Good morning. Good morning. Thanks for having me back. Good to see you. Now, yeah. first of all, I tell everybody that if you're invited to somebody's house for the holidays, and even though they say, no, don't bring anything, do not listen to them. You must show up with something, <laughs> yeah. um, and you can't go wrong with a bottle of wine. I no. think that it'll always get used, whether it be that day or down the road. And I think when you bring a local bottle of wine, I think it just makes it extra special. I certainly do. <laughs> <laughs> if you haven't tried the Forgotten Fire wine or, uh, wines, they are wonderful, all sorts of different varieties. And we're going to show you how to take the wines, which are great by themselves, and turn them into a couple of fun holiday cocktails, something yep. a little different. These days you don't have to do a full on bar if you're no. having, you know, holiday get togethers. Yeah, and you know, the, this toddy that we're gonna do is just something that you can do on the stove and everyone can help themselves to once it's made or, you know, everyone can kind of add to it throughout the day and keep it going. That's really uh, Depends nice. on how big your family is, but if you're like mine, it's good to keep them going. Yeah, so. <laughs> you get a nice big pot of this and we, um, yep. you were saying that we're gonna do it on our stove top here, mm -hmm. but uh, it's really nice to just have it in your crock pot to keep it nice and warm and sure. people can help themselves with it. All yeah, right. it's easy to put in the family room or something where everyone's gonna be and it's, yeah. you know, then everyone stays in the same room and you don't, everyone gets to spend time together and not have yeah. to be traveling all through the house. I love that idea. So what kind yeah. of wine are we gonna start this with? Well, it's, it's Thanksgiving, so let's do cranberry. Okay. Uh, we're gonna start with three cups of cranberry wine. Okay. And, we're, I could ask. Again, yep. and it'll go right into the pot. Or your slow cooker at home, because you don't want to bring this to a boil. That's the key. We don't want to boil the alcohol out of it. We just want to warm this. So would that be almost a bottle, or is it? A yeah, just about three quarters of a bottle. Okay. So that looks good. Okay. Uh, about a quarter cup of orange juice. Okay. And just a little bit of almond extract, just Ooh. the slightest amount. Mm, I little, love almond extract. Oh yeah, a little brown sugar. Okay. And of course, a little brandy. So about a third of a cup. If my aunt Leanne's coming over, it's usually no brandy then, because we got to <laughs> keep her going. But uh, no. Uh, if uh, and then we're just gonna let it simmer for a little while. This is something you can add things to as, as well. Um, you know, every family's a little different with what they like. Cinnamon sticks, orange slices, things like that can go in. Sure. Um, it's wonderful. So Joe, we just want to heat this. We don't want to boil it because we don't want to, you know, the alcohol to, uh, you know, simmer out of it. That's why that the slow cooker, having it in a slow cooker is such a great idea. Exactly. Yeah. We just want to get it nice and warm, warm enough to drink, but not, uh, not to burn anything down. So, All right. Yep. Good deal. So now while that's doing its thing, we want to move on to a cocktail. And you know, as we mentioned these days, you don't have to do a full bar if you have Lots of non-alcoholic drinks, bottled waters and sodas, uh, do something warm like this. And then uh, a signature cocktail, you're good to go. You know, you don't need to stock a whole bar and somebody doesn't have to stand and, and be bartending all night. Exactly. Which you is know, no fun for yeah, that person. Why, why work on the holidays, right? <laughs> so tell me about this, what we're making here. We're making just a simple cranberry martini. We're going to do two ounces of orange juice, okay. pulp free, makes it easier. Um, and then two ounces of the cranberry wine. And our cranberry wine is, it has nice intensity to it. So it's tart, it's sweet, and it really has the true flavors of cranberry juice in it. So a quick two ounces of that, and then an ounce, ounce and a half or so of vodka. This is from Great Lakes Distillery down in Milwaukee, so keeping it local still. What I like about this martini too, is not super duper strong. No. Uh, and we do have some clean ice in our shaker and that's super important. If Absolutely. Your ice tastes like the rest of your freezer, get a nice bag of ice or two and you know, you don't want shake? that. Yeah, I think fun, are you kidding? <laughs> shake, they say shake, 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 and then shake a little more. Some fun garnishes for the, the glass. We've got some thin sliced orange, right? Yep, and a couple of cranberries skewered on or, or just floated in. Same thing with the, even with the toddy, you could float some cranberries in for fun or all right, now while we're doing this, you guys are doing a special thing. Um, the day after Thanksgiving, if you are tired of shopping, you don't want to deal with the hassles of the mall, or maybe you've had enough and you want a little break, head to the winery in yep. Peshtigo. Lots of sampling, sampling all the time through the holidays, but you are releasing um, a, a new wine for the holidays and um, a great price. And it's a beautiful bottle, great gift. Tell us more. Exactly. It's our uh, home for the holidays uh, wine. It's a Riesling blend. It's got a really fun, beautiful winter Christmas scene label on it. We just made about 45 cases of it, and uh, for Black Friday, it'll be $10. Wow, so, so might want to get several bottles, give this <laughs> gift during the holidays, and like you say, it's a real pretty label. 10 bucks a bottle, it can't go wrong. Absolutely. All right, is our okay. martini ready? Yeah, we're ready, so we'll throw a little cranberry garnish in there. 
nice pretty pink color. Oh, it's gorgeous. Yeah. And then just a nice orange slice to, to garnish. And we are all set. And our mulled cranberry wine is all set here. Got a couple of cranberries that we threw in there, float in there to make it look really, really pretty. And again, we can do a slice of orange. And this just, you can have in a slow cooker in your kitchen. People can help themselves. Might want to double or triple this recipe though, because I have a feeling that this is going to be a hit. And oh, the kitchen smells amazing. <laughs> I think your house will smell really good too. Absolutely. Oh, wow. That is gorgeous, Joe. Thank you. Thank you. Good All to right. see you. Good seeing you too. For people who want to find the wine, by the mm -hmm. way, this cranberry wine or many of the different varieties of wines, um, if you can't get to the winery in Peshtigo, it's actually available at all sorts of grocery stores in the area. Absolutely. From pretty much from Milwaukee North, you can find us now. So. All right. Well, look for it. And if your store doesn't have it, ask them to carry it and they'll get it in. Great. Good to see you. I hope you have a great Thanksgiving. Thank you. Have a happy Thanksgiving as well. Thank you. Coming up, our ultimate Thanksgiving dinner contest continues. Today, it's all about the main course. So don't go anywhere. We'll be back. <laughs>